the blue Nash Motorsports Eos car to the outside and Morgano, what a jump he gets. Nash is gonna fall back behind Mossman. Might be able to get down in front of Ingrata. He will. Into third for Blake Nash as Morgano and everyone is low. Morgano blows the corner. Mossman to the lead out of turn number three and Mateus Morgano back to sixth or seventh in turn five. Yeah, Mateus with an immediate slide job on Asus Vasquez pushed him way out wide there to get into fifth and it looks like there was contact there with Frankie Mossman. We'll see as he comes around the sweeper. I believe that front bumper is still intact. You can see now this has completely turned the race on his head. Now Harley Keeble getting a spot up to third ahead of Aiden Ingrata and the front two now. Mossman and Nash need to get away because Mateus Morgano is going to come up based off of what we saw on turn three there. Might be some red mist behind the Brazilian's helmet there. Yeah, he's definitely going to be frustrated and hunting forward. Mateus Morgano now under fire from Diego Ramos. Ramos gets by his teammate right there for fifth. So Diego uh, going forward and now Morgano blocking back from Jesus Vasquez Jr. to hang on. Nash, half a car back from Mossman, not close enough for anything there. Nothing going to happen for fourth, fifth, and sixth yet either. As we go down to turn five, there's a move for second. Keeble through. Harley Keeble up to, to the top two. And for the guy that qualified 12th and on Wednesday felt pretty down about his chances to win, he's looking really good early in this main. Uh, so Harley Keeble, fastest again there on the PK Sport. Sodi, could he get them a win in his first ever temporary circuit race? Down the inside, new leader, Harley Keeble out of turn five. Keeble for the first time on weekend gets to the point he has been struggling whether it be because of track position or pace now he finally has his Blake Nash to the inside move him up ahead of Mossman the second the top five have uh, that's all it's shrunk down to as Ramos is too far away and look at Morgano he'll get back up to fourth the pull man is still in this one in this position uh, what do you want to do right he's had a couple of times oh wow looks like he might have just tagged the wall Blake Nash coming out of turn nine was right up against the barriers and I'm trying to look there at that left rear if it maybe started to bend a little bit he was on the ragged edge for sure if we get a look at Diego Ramos's car something oh the brake pedal. pedal is gone that yeah. was interesting there so Diego heartbreaking into his race I mean, oh. he had been in the top five Looks like he might have had the pace to at least be up there with Mateus. Maybe not quite as quick, but certainly in contention for a podium. And Keeble by a car length over Nash. It's uh, back down to zero. He was able to get away as Nash had that bobble out of turn nine a few laps ago. Blake really good out of turn 12. And on that run of the front stretch, he's going to try and take it in turn three. Little hip check, but he's through. Blake Nash, the new leader, down to turn five. Mossman into the side of him. Nearly drives him into the wall. Frankie Mossman out of the lead, and Morgano gets to third. It's going to get really intense really quick. Mossman back to the lead with a very opportunistic move. Now we'll see if he starts to defend. This is where it gets hectic as now Keeble into the back bumper and that's going to sack everyone up. Morgato gets underneath but does not have the run to make it stick. Now he's going to send it on Keeble into turn 11. Makes it stick and now Aiden and Garada back on the scene. So what was a three car battle is now a five car battle with Frankie Mossman having a little bit of breathing room now going forward. Blake Nash and Mateus Morgato agreeing to work together as they go down the front straightaway and now for Morgato he's almost back to where he started. It's taken more than 12 minutes of racing here for him to just claw his way from six to the lead as Keeble sends it on Nash in turn five and drives into the side of him and takes in the two of them that were in the lead group. Blake Nash and Harley Keeble are stuck together and their races are done. Oh, and Keeble not happy at all. Both of them showing their displeasures. Looks like he kind of sat there a little bit longer to kind of keep Nash there. And they're both going to be well out of contention. Yeah, and we've seen, uh, obviously, in that VLR senior race, it can be done to white line it for a lot of the session. Parker DeLong was able to do it pretty much to perfection. Uh, the only issue here is that he's not. Morgano gets through in turn five, takes Mossman a little bit wide, and he's going to get a gap now. Two car lengths, maybe three. Uh, Mateus Morgato, that was a strategic move there of sending it so deep and opening up his hand so much that Morgat or uh, Mossman had nothing to do but just get dirt on his tires. How this goes through turn nine again, this time wider line on entry. That should help him a little bit on exit. It does. Oh. Mossman goes wide, tags the barrier, and now is going to be a good battle as Aiden and Grata gets himself up to the second, and that opens the door for Mateus Morgato to ride off into the sunset here as he has about a five-car with gap. Right now, in favor of Morgato, and the battle is on for second. 
Yeah, the two Speed Gonzalez boys going to fight it out for that second spot on the podium. A little bit of money on the line here between Morga or between Ingrata and Mossman coming up to the sweeper. We'll see what Mossman has up his sleeve here. It's been a good effort for both of them this weekend as they get set to go for the finish. Ingrata is going to get crossed, but at the front of the field, Mateus Morgado has it covered. Yeah, down to 12. Final time. Ingrata to the inside, defending Mossman for the over-under. They'll fight to the line, but Mateus Morgado is perfect in 2023. He wins Rock Vegas here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. Aiden Ingrata hangs on over Frankie Mossman, second and third. And Mateus Morgado, what a weekend.